Welcome back to yet another great video on our channel. Kim Zolchek contacted the cops on estranged husband Croy Bierman once again, this time accusing him of snatching her iPhone. Police were shown arriving to the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star, 46, and the former NFL players, 38, residents on a body camera footage. The event took occurred in late April. Officers were summoned to the pair's house, which is currently facing foreclosure for a domestic disturbance complaint, according per TMZ. The reality star, whose ex accused her of being a narcissist, and asterisk 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 and other guys in another violent dispute captured on police cameras last year, accused her hubby of snatching her cell phone and locked himself in the master bedroom. This is just insane that I have to deal with this foolishness. I deal with it every single day, screaming all day, yelling all day, losing his wits all day, taking my belongings. It's simply enough is enough, she told cops. Because a recent court order requires the split spouses to stick to respective sides of the house, Kim told authorities she could not go and get her phone back from Croy, and that he would not give it back. Zolciak, who has previously dubbed Croy's conduct diabolical and erratic, and claimed he could be suffering from CTE, reiterated that nothing physical transpired between her and Croy that evening. While talking to authorities, Kim recounted her terrible divorce and stated Croy had been looking through her personal items. The officers are then seen attempting to talk to Croy via the bedroom door after he refused to come out. He was heard denying that he had Kim's phone and that he didn't know where it was. Because Kim, who previously received outrage for saying Croy had died in a now-deleted RIP tweet, was not able to present a copy of the court order, and there was no physical altercation, nothing was done by the conclusion of the visit. She further claimed that Croy has been screaming and yelling all night in her 911 phone call, adding, I feel so violated. I have divorce material in there, I have so many things in there, reportedly in reference to her phone. Going through my phone is ridiculous. I have nothing to conceal, but it's just. There is no privacy, she remarked in a sorrowful voice. When questioned if she or anybody else was in danger, she said, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's not coming out. He's not reacting. This is not the first time Kim has made an accusation about Croy snooping through her belongings. Kim previously phoned police to their house when Croy had locked himself in the couple's bedroom reportedly refusing his estranged wife admittance. Once police came, Croy, who refused to reveal his face from behind the bedroom door, handed over Kim's prescriptions and some cosmetics, as well as a blanket. Croy had again walled himself up in the bedroom in late September, when Kim again contacted police. She added that the football player had stolen her two mobile phones in the bedroom with himself and was refusing to give them back to her. Police finally convinced him to hand up the phones, and Kim slept in a different bedroom with the door shut for privacy. And in November, officers stepped up to the residence after the duo had an ugly quarrel and one of their kids contacted 911. Video shot at the site of the altercation shows Beerman yelling at Kim as cops come to break up the confrontation. In the clip, Croy accuses his estranged wife of being a narcissist and he even exclaims that she has been asterisk 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 in other guys. When the officer asks what is occurring between the two, Beerman answers in an almost joyful tone. We're simply having an argument. When pressed about it, he adds the dispute is over our asterisk 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 in lives, while lifting his fists in the air. It's ruined, he exclaims, again flinging his arms up in the air. When the officer, who seemed irritated at Croy's tone, questioned what had triggered the fight. The former athlete blamed it on her inability to asterisk 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 and handle things, or confront them, or do anything. Croy looked to grow irritated that the police was even on the scene. There's nothing to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who phoned you? He replied while waving his arms up and down. Your kids, the officer said, adding that it was presumably someone inside the house but he didn't indicate which youngster had made the request for help. What kid? Croy answered, before adding that he and Kim had been outside the whole time. When the officer tried to get Croy to explain why he was becoming so warm, 
he didn't dial down the temperature at all but instead repeated, because our life is ruined. He then waited for a couple seconds with his eyes wide and his mouth hanging open while he held his arms spread straight out to his sides. What don't you understand? He questioned forcefully. There's no money. There's no house. We're getting divorced one day. We're not the next. She's f asterisk 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 in other men. What do you want? He continued yelling as his voice sounded increasingly harsh. It's not known which of their children contacted for help, but the sources indicated that it was one of their four younger children, which would rule out Kim's elder children Briel, 26, and Ariana, 22, both of whom are from prior marriages. The exes also share boys KJ, 12, Cash, 11, and fraternal twins Kane and Kaya, 9 one of whom apparently contacted the police. The disturbing occurrence has been one of countless instances that Kim and Croy have had the police visit them since their nasty split began. Earlier this month, a judge decided that the former pair have to keep to a rigorous timetable in utilizing the closet at their Georgia house, according to court records obtained by TMC. Kim has been granted to visit their master bedroom closet Monday to Friday, confined to the duration from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Croy is explicitly barred from using the closet during those hours, meaning Kim gets exclusive access. While Croy doesn't have specific hours, he can access his clothing before or after Kim's allotted period. The new arrangement comes over six months after a judge decided Kim to stay in the basement slash nanny quarters of their house, while Croy remains upstairs in the principal bedroom. The allegation also follows the news that the former couple are on the brink of losing their house as their lender issued a warning of foreclosure, unless legal action is done. In January, the partnership cut the price of the property to $4.5 million, after first placing it on the market in October for $6 million. Both Kim and Croy filed for divorce after 11 years of marriage in May of 2023. Later in July, Kim sought to drop the divorce lawsuit, generating suspicions of a reunion. But by August, Croy refiled for divorce. Kim and the former Atlanta Falcons NFL player initially met in 2010 after meeting paths at the Dancing with Atlanta Stars charity event. They married the wedding one year later in November 11, 2011. Croy Bierman is demanding half of what his separated wife, Kim Zolchek, makes from peddling the family's luxury products. In court documents obtained Tuesday by Page Six, the retired NFL star said the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum has and is in the process of selling some of the personal property she acquired during their 11-year marriage, including an expansive collection of designer purses, shoes, and clothing, most of which has never been used and slashed or worn. Beer Man 38 stated the things are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars and added that it is unknown what Zolciak has done with the funds she received from the sale of the items. However, what is known is that none of the funds have been utilized to support the marital estate, he went on, noting that he is seeking an equitable division of marital assets, including the personal property acquired during the marriage but is currently in the sole possession of Zolciak. Among the pair's marital assets is their Milton Ga property, which Beerman stated is weighed down by significant debt. The former athlete underlined that the IRS has a $1.1 million dollar lion on the home, which is still up for sale after having been set for foreclosure twice. In addition, lawsuits have been filed against the parties by BM Dole, Chase Bank, Simmons Bank and Sachs slash Capital One. Beerman stated, characterizing the dues' financial status as dire. He urged that all marital property subject to equitable division be identified and then preserved by the court. The ex-Atlanta Falcons linebacker also offered some facts about how he and the once housewife, 45, managed their money throughout their union. He said that the revenue he earned as a professional football player, the checks Zolciak got from Oriel A., and what they each acquired while filming Don't Be Tardy were placed in various joint bank accounts. Behrman stated that he and Zolciak, whom he has accused of financially ruining his family via an alleged gambling addiction, both had full access to all the joint accounts, 
adding that purchases made by the parties, separately or jointly, were funded by assets in the joint accounts. He also stated that neither party maintained a separate account until the divorce filing, albeit he could not identify which of the two filings from 2023.